Hi, this is Luke with a Gamer, and I'm going to show you how to beat Shadow Yukiko in Persona 4 Golden. So, you're about to finish your first dungeon in Persona 4 Golden, and all that stands between you and the end is the shadow version of Yukiko. The princess can be found on the top floor of Yukiko's castle, babbling about how excited she is to find a prince. But in order to help Yukiko confront her truest feelings and accept her other self, you'll first need to defeat her shadow, and it isn't an easy fight. So here are some tips and tricks to help you beat the shadow in Persona 4 Golden. Before we start this fight, it's important to do a little groundwork. Shadow Yukiko is level 15, so make sure your party are at least level 12 or higher, and if you're not, then just run around the lower floors of the dungeon fighting other shadows until you're at an appropriate level. Also make sure to stock up on healing items such as medicine and revival beads, because you never know when you might need them. And finally, make sure the protagonist has an electric persona such as Izanagi that can use moves such as Zeo. If this is all done, then you're ready to fight Shadow Yukiko, so let's move on. So, once the fight begins, the most important thing to know is that Shadow Yukiko is weak to ice. So when possible, have Chie attack with ice spells to knock her down, allowing you to perform an all-out attack for some serious damage. However, before long, Shadow Yukiko will begin to cast White Wall, which makes her resistant to ice magic for 3 turns. Shadow Yukiko will also use Fire Magic to target your party, so be careful because Chie is weak to this element, so if she gets hit by a fire spell and she's not guarding, this will give Shadow Yukiko another attack. You need to especially be cautious when you see Shadow Yukiko has a passionate stare on her turn, as this means that on her next turn she's going to use an attack called Burn to Ashes, which is a high damage fire move that hits all targets. Make sure to have your entire party guard on the next turn, especially Chie, because if she gets hit by it, then Shadow Yukiko will get another attack. After you've gotten Shadow Yukiko down to about half of her health, she'll summon her Charming Prince to assist her in the fight. Not only is this another enemy to deal with during the battle, but the Charming Prince will start healing Shadow Yukiko, which means you want to take him out quickly. So this is why I told you to bring an electric persona like Izanagi, because he's weak to electric spells like Zeo, so target him as relentlessly as possible with the protagonist. However, he is strong against wind spells, so don't waste Yosuke's SP targeting him with Garu skills. The Charming Prince will also use an attack called Makajam, which inflicts silence on anyone it hits. After you've dealt enough damage to the Charming Prince though, he'll run away from the battle. Shadow Yukiko will then waste her next turn trying to summon him again, but he won't come back. So with the Charming Prince gone, we're now in the home stretch of the fight with Shadow Yukiko. At this point, she'll begin to use a move called Terror Voice, which inflicts fear on any party member it hits. So if someone in your party is afflicted with fear and you have an item such as a sedative to cure them, it's wise to use it now because otherwise Shadow Yukiko's next big attack is called Shivering Rondo, which does massive damage to anyone who's afflicted with fear. However, if they survive Shivering Rondo, they'll be cured of fear automatically. So if you can't cure them of fear before this attack, it might be a wise idea to just try and heal them up so they can endure the attack instead. Otherwise, just continue to fight Shadow Yukiko as normal, using Chie's Ice Magic to trigger all-out attacks when possible, and just keep fighting until the fight finally comes to an end. So that's how to beat Shadow Yukiko in Persona 4 Golden. Thanks for watching, and check out thegamer.com for more.